Welcome to Vail United Methodist Church Online. This is our weekly sermon from Pastor Jeff Haw. Our sermon for February 2nd of 2020, the fourth Sunday of Epiphany. The church is a community. What, what does that mean? How, how do we live as a community called by God in Christ as the church? Let's take a look at our scripture. Our text is from Hebrews chapter 10 verses 19 through 25 from the New Revised Standard Bible. Therefore, my friends, since we have confidence to enter the sanctuary by the blood of Jesus, by the new and living way that he opened for us through the curtain, that is, through his flesh, and since we have a great priest over the house, let us approach with a true heart, in full assurance of faith, with our hearts sprinkled clean from an evil conscience and our bodies washed with pure water. Let us hold fast to the confession of our hope without wavering, for he who has promised is faithful. And let us consider how to provoke one another to love and good deeds, not neglecting to beat together, as is the habit of some, but encouraging one another, and all the more as you see the day approaching. For God's gift of Scripture, we give thanks. Amen. Imagine that you got a ticket right now for tonight's Super Bowl. And not just a ticket, but luxury box the suite you know where all the food and and and, and the air conditioning and 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 and, and, and the luxury and the, and, and the hop the, the celebrities 50 yard line what wouldn't that be exciting you know I, I bet you would clear your calendar for that wouldn't you and and maybe not football football's not your thing but I think you'd still do it what, what an experience to look forward to. I mean, I, to be honest, I don't really care who wins the, tonight's game. I, I, I just hope it's a good football game. But to be there in person would be, would be something else. And again, I, I'd clear my calendar. Say, you got to take it, just send it my way. I'm, I'm here. But you'd tell everybody too, wouldn't you? Oh my gosh, I'm going to the Super Bowl. I get to go to the Super Bowl. And, and as you're showing somebody your ticket, you, you look at it and you're like, wait a minute. It says right here, I can bring somebody else. Wow. Who are you going to bring? I, I, I hope that's an easy, easy, easy choice there. You know, would, would, wouldn't you invite somebody? Of course you would. And then, then as you wait, wait, wait a minute, it's it, not just one person. A hundred people. Wow. You know, I think you put some energy into making sure you invited a hundred people. You found a hundred people that, that could go, that would clear their calendars and come with you. I don't think it would be that hard to do. But what? wouldn't that be wonderful? Well, the kingdom of God is the greatest party ever. In fact, that's the, the title of uh, Tony Campola's book, The Kingdom of God is a Party. And in that, he talks about the joys of Christianity. And I think that's, uh, I, I love that idea. Because the kingdom of God is, is not just a, a heavenly party where we all get together and, and have great time and, 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 and it's going to be good. But, it's also a party here. And if we can't find joy in living life as a Christian, we're missing out. I, you know, you, you read stories of, 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 or you hear different people's perceptions of people like the Puritans and, and how they seem so, so dour and cold and, and, and lifeless. And, and, and I don't think that was Jesus' intent at all. God made us to enjoy life properly, respectfully. But to live life joyfully here on earth, not just some future in heaven. And, and as I look around, I, I see the excitement here at Vail. Last Sunday, 
that was a, that was a long day for me. I don't know about you, uh, but uh, you know, I, I got here at, at eight for worship and and was here until about about seven o'clock last uh, Sunday night. And yeah, I was tired. My legs were killing me. But it was exciting. It was great. I mean, worship was 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 energizing. I, I hope it was energizing for you. And then 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 we got to work. But the joy of packaging those meals, of, of, of setting things up, making sure things were running smoothly. You know, scoop, scoop, scoop. Rice goes last. But interacting with people, talking to them as, 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 as I could, get to know them better. But sharing the joy of our work together as we packaged those meals and we changed lives one meal at a time over 80,000 times. That's the joy of the kingdom of God. Deb Cohen's talking today to, to, to the church about, about, about the Guatemala ministry and the work that is done down there and the joy we find in doing that. That's the kingdom of God. That's the party that God wants us to be a part of. It's the best party ever. Yeah, you know, I, I was uh, when I was in college. I was getting ready to go out one one Friday night, I guess, and um, one of my buddies in the dorm said, "You went with your your Christian friends, right?" I said, "Yeah." And they said, "Y'all don't drink, do you?" I said, "Well, no." Um, so there won't be any alcohol there. I was like, no, "Probably not." Maybe, but I, but I don't think so. I'm like, well, how are you going to have fun? Wow. My friends, if you can't have fun without alcohol, you've got a problem. I'm sorry. Um, maybe you're not an alcoholic, but you're heading that way mighty fast. We don't need alcohol to have fun. We gather in, 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 in the glory of God, in each other's presence. And find the party that God calls us to. Uh, Larry, uh, Larry Kushner in his book, uh, Surely God Was in This Place and I, I Did Not Know It, talks about his synagogue. They have a practice, a, a Simchat Torah, where they, uh, the, uh, the annual... Uh, where they read the Torah for a year, the entire Torah, and they're celebrating this end of the year. And, and his congregation, they, they unroll the scroll, and they gather in a circle, and everybody but he, but he, but he has a piece of it. And they, they, they talk about, the, they kind of summarize the Pentateuch and the stories in there. And then they, they very reverently uh, roll it up, and put it back. And then they dance. They party. They, they, they and, 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 and this has been so popular that, that people, people who've been away come back, kind of almost a homecoming in that sense. And, and, they, and people who are not part come and join the community and, they, and the dance goes on for hours. Well, this was, I don't know, 25, 30 years ago. And there was a, a gentleman in the congregation who had recently immigrated uh, from, from the Soviet Union. And, 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 and Kushner turned to him and said, isn't this the greatest party ever? And I said, well, it's, it's a good party, but, 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 but ours back home was better. And Kushner was shocked. He said, well, what do you mean? Said, well, you know, when, 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 we, when we gather, the secret police are watching us. And, and to be a Jew is to be sus suspect. And that can get reported to your boss. And you might not get the promotion that you deserve. You, you might get moved to an undesirable position or even fired. But we dance anyway. Wow. What joy must they have to dance in the dark depression of, 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 of oppression? Those folks who party, why can't we? Why can't we? We 
we are the church. Let's party. Now that's never a party of one. Think about it. We can't do this by ourselves. We, we need each other. John, John Wesley Slett said, Christianity is not a religion for solitude and solitary. The Bible knows nothing of solitary religion. It's always about community and church. And yes, yes, there are times to be alone. That's not what he's talking about here. I mean, clearly, uh, you know, Jesus spent 40 days in solitude before his ministry out in, the, out in the wilderness to be tempted by Satan, to fast, to pray. And, and throughout his, his earthly ministry, he spent time off alone by himself to pray and to recharge. But his work, his ministry, was done when he came back into the community. To share that joy, to party for the kingdom of God. We need each other. You know, we've been talking about about our, our own gifts and calls, and last week I talked about how how, how each of our, our own gifts need to come together to, to do work, and that's the synergy that we get when we encourage one another, we support and we guide. When there are tough times in your life, I, I hope the church is present to, to, to encourage you, to lift you up. Because we need each other in order to party. And you know, there are, there are churches, Methodist churches certainly, that are, that are dying. And you know, they, 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 they've gotten older, the neighborhood's changed, and they haven't. The church doesn't match who lives around them. They've gotten old and, and there are no young people. And they're not reaching out. And that's a shame. I'm, I'm not worried about Vail. Uh, we're, 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 I really am optimistic for our future. And, and we're doing a better job of reaching out than we have been. And I, I need, we need to keep doing that. We need to encourage one another and, and, and not just be friendly, but be friends. And so each week, I send you out with a question to ask one another. Sometimes it's a, it's a silly question, but one that anybody can answer. And I challenge you to, to do that each week. This, this Sunday, I, I want you to ask somebody that, that you don't know, maybe you know, maybe, maybe you never met or, or haven't seen them in a while. What, what's the most exciting thing at Vail for you? What's the most exciting thing about being a Christian? What brings you back here each week? How are you partying with God? Or, or, or maybe you see someone you haven't seen in a while, and and and, and, and you don't need to don't don't be don't be embarrassed by or embarrassed them by saying, well, gee, you haven't been here in a while. Just walk up to them and say, you know, what? I haven't talked to you in a while. How are you? Not being judgmental. You're just saying, you know, we missed our connection. Let's 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 connect. Maybe all you know is their name, or maybe all you know is their face. But let's work on this. Because it's important to get to know one another. Because these are the people that we're going to be partying with. Not just this week, not just this month, but for eternity. But you know what? That's going to be the greatest party ever. So invite somebody. Let's party. Will you pray with me? Lord, teach us your will. Nothing more, nothing less, nothing else. Amen. I thank you for uh, watching this uh, video podcast and invite you to join us. Uh, we have worship, uh, traditional worship in our sanctuary at 8.30 and 10. Our youth-led parallel service also at 10. We're located at uh, 11528 Vale Road in Oakton, Virginia. You can check us out on our website at valechurch.org. May God bless you in all that you do.